today I will be surviving 100 days in a multiplayer server with three of my friends, Revel, Davis, and Prav. I hope you guys are relaxed and ready because this full movie includes tons of jokes, funny moments, and even some deaths. And stick around till the end for a final message from me. Without further ado, welcome to 100 Days in Multiplayer Survival. Alright, so pretty much the first day started out like normal. I was getting some stuff set up, so I was a bit behind all my friends. They were getting iron and stuff, and I was still chopping down a tree. No, I just found the cave from next to- Davis! Wait, Dave, that's that like the right second time, bro. Come on. To my right. This is really going my stuff, bro. And that night came really quick, and I basically spent it just hiding in like a little cave, getting some iron cooked up and food cooked up. And since some of my boys didn't have beds, we all just agreed to go down and mine for the rest of the night. And we were going to build a more permanent shelter on day two. Let's just start building like some sort of place where we can just settle down here. Let's just make it super basic for now, just so we can have like a spot so we don't die at night, you know. It's daytime, but there's still zombies jumping us, bro. This is annoying. Let's build a simple house, day one. Simple house, bro. This guy's building a whole house. Bro, it's not. It's a simple house. It's a, it's a curved box, bro. It's nothing, there's nothing there's nothing complicated about that, bro. I got it. And the second day started out a bit rainy, and my friend Revel over here already had a diamond pickaxe, which was kind of crazy. And as you can see, we kind of got our little settlement established, and I'm kind of just building while they're getting more stuff set up. My boys over here found a spawner down here, and we got acclaimed. We had a rough night. Wait, can we sleep now? Let's see if we can sleep. Let's see. If oh, guys, we can sleep. Get in bed, boys. Get in bed. Get in shot, guys. Guys, I need help. I need help. I need help. And quickly the third day came with not much really happening, just normal Minecraft stuff, so I thought I really wouldn't include it. But I found this cool Illager outpost, and I walked up to it, but I realized I really was not prepared. I had an iron chest plate, and I didn't have a shield yet. So I decided that I would probably just come back and visit it later when I was a little bit better equipped. Oh, and I was also able to get a horse and tame it, and I also had a saddle with me, because uh, one of my friends actually found one in one of the dungeons below our house, so that worked out perfectly. It is day four, guys, and not much has changed, I'm gonna be honest. All right, well, let's get let's get the horse stable set up. We can make a farm or something, and I might I might finish up the house. I don't know. Yeah, there's iron horse armor in the chest for the crazy one. Once oh, I'm it. I'm yoking that. Where is it? Okay, you yoke it. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. And also, uh, we got horses. We got Providence's diamond horse, and I got my oh. iron horse. So we're going crazy. All right, so it's day four here, and I wanted to mainly fix up the house today because it kind of looks trash, I'm gonna be honest, and all my friends are getting food and getting like a horse pen, cow pen, all that stuff getting set up, so that's great. I was also able to kick myself out with full iron tools as well as some iron leggings. All right, so on days five to six, we kind of explored, and while my friend was grabbing some cows over there for the farm, I pulled up to the pillager outpost, and I have a shield this time, but when I got here, there were no, there were no bad people around, so they just basically just let me freely walk in. I guess that's good. And when I walked up and opened up the chest, we got potatoes, guys. That's great. Now we can start a potato farm, so that's gonna be pretty cool. We don't have to just only eat bread now. And I was also exploring our local ocean, and there were a lot of cool islands around here that it had to offer, including one that had a bunch of spruce trees on it, so that's gonna be nice for later. I think I'm actually gonna go grab that right now. Alright, so I'm getting some glass panes in for our house here. Wait, Prav, what's what's this pen you're building back here? This birch one? For chickens. chickens. For chickens? Okay. Yeah, eggs. I want eggs. Yo, sea turtle. No shot. Where? Are you in the beach? Bro, that's yeah. some plastic on him, bro. For real. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to keep him, bro. I mean, if we had the lead, maybe. I don't, even, I don't know if we can lead turtles, bro. Where do you put it? Around his neck? Wait, are you blocking him in right now? Oh, stop swimming, bro. Hey, yo, man, <laughs> chill, chill. Can you put him in like a, a box? I don't know. I'm trying to get him to swim over here, and then I'll just cut him off. I right, we got him blocked in. We good. We good. No, 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 no. Get back in the water. Get back in the water, bud. Keep him, bro. Yes, sir. Are you actually, like getting him. Why are you bullying me? All right. Well, hopefully in later days when we can figure out how to like tame this guy, we can actually have him as a pet and on display somewhere near our house. And on the night of day seven, I thought about our current housing situation and I really didn't like it. So I think I'm going to plan out a newer house and hopefully make it look a little bit nicer. I just grabbed some dirt and stone from our chests and I just made a simple layout. 
Oh, and if you guys are wondering why there's like those jungle planks just sitting here, apparently one of my friends found like a sunken ship out in the oceans that are near us. I don't know exactly where it is though. And I decided to fill out some of the flooring first for this new house. It's gonna be in like an L shape, a little bit smaller than a current house, but I think we can expand on it easily. I also moved it a little bit closer to the waters. And of course, for our first real house, we're gonna need a lot of wood for the sides, so I started chopping down some trees. And I used those logs to make the pillars of our house. I did this a lot with my builds because it adds like another sense of depth and it just looks a lot more realistic when there's actual wooden beams holding up the sides and corners. And by the start of day 9, I had the house coming together slowly. I even made a stone cutter so I can get these stone bricks right here. And I also textured the front with a little bit of stripped logs, but I might do that around the other sides. Kind of lazy though because it takes a lot of wood and I don't really want to go get more wood to be honest. And I continued working on the house into the next day. And keep in mind, this is a time when my friends weren't on, so that's probably why you guys don't see much other progression other than just building right now. And I was finally getting started on the roof. Also, this big hole that you see right here, I'm going to leave it open for future developments because right now this house is very small and will not fit four of us, that's for sure. And this was pretty much how most of my time was spent for this past couple of days, waiting for stone to smelt. And when the sunset was approaching on day 10, this is what our house looked like. We had like a little extension to the right hand side as well as a part that went up because I'm thinking of maybe making a two story house just on that one side though. And I probably will just end up expanding it even more later. All right, so day 11, the boys got back on and he harvested all of our wheat that has grown since I was building. Now we got a ton of wheat to hopefully expand our cow farm. I also herded over a sheep and made a separate pen just for the sheep. Hopefully we could start a rainbow wool farm later. You never know. Bring a water bucket though. Oh yeah, there's a huge drop. Wait, there's some crazy stuff though. Wait, this is part of the new the new update, dude. We got oh I see you down there. We got a bunch of uh oh, like deep slate or whatever this shit is. Oh I, I yeah, have water. Yeah. Oh you have water bet bet. Sheesh bro, this place looks crazy, bro. Wait, Wait this is huge. This is a is this 1.18 or is this 1.17? I honestly don't know. Yeah, I spent a while inside of this cave. It was huge, and I'm guessing it's part of the new cave update. I haven't played in a really long time, so that explains why I feel kind of confused about everything that's new here. So after I dueled that skeleton, I kept on venturing down, and the cave just kept on getting bigger and kept on going downward. These things are absolutely absurd. Definitely one of my favorite parts of the new update. And it kept on going until day 12, and I still couldn't find any diamonds. Meanwhile, my friend Revel, he found two different veins of diamonds, although one of them was a one vein. So Revel, you got the enchantment table stuff? Is there okay? Um, Sir. yeah, so I got a bunch of iron from the mines and I got some food. I'm gonna make myself a full set. Um, do I just put the enchantment table in here for now? Oh, yeah, because yeah. like this is like our main area right now before I finish our new house over there. I have 14 levels and I also have some lapis in the chest. And once Revel got down the enchantment table, I spent one experience level and got sharpness one on my iron sword. I'm gonna save the rest of my lapis for a bit later, hopefully, when I get some diamonds. I also started working on an underground area in our new house. I think it'll be a good idea to expand downwards since this house looks pretty small on the outside. We'll probably end up having our nether portal in here once we make it. Me and Revel also began just making a simple mob farm down here, just having like the water kind of rush out in an area where you can kill him. It's not going to be anything efficient because we're kind of too lazy to do that right now, but hopefully we can get a little bit of early XP. All right, me and Revel will finally finish this up. It's really simple. kind of came up with it on the fly. We got some signs. The items and the zombies will flow down into our killing chamber. And there you can see Revel getting some XP right now. And later I came back to actually try out this farm and it worked a lot better than I expected, a lot more efficient. Since it was right underneath our base area, the zombies were constantly spawning so anytime I go down to check there was always a ton of them. Alright, so me and Revel decided to go out and explore for a while. We were looking to find a village because we wanted to get more bookshelves in our enchantment table so we kind of sailed off in the sunset. It was looking nice, going in some random direction. In the middle of our journey, we decided to take a pit stop and cook up all of our food, so we should not be starving for the rest of this experience. And soon enough, we came across a spruce bomb, which is really great, because I don't know if you guys know this, but if you've been a constant viewer of this channel, you will know that spruce is my favorite wood to build with. I just love the darkish color. I think it looks great. And later on, during that night, we found one of the giant spruce biomes. I don't know exactly what they're called. We were able to gather some berries as well as some mushrooms and saplings, so hopefully we can recreate these huge trees at home. And since I don't really know what else to talk about on this journey, here's a little time lapse. I am at the Eskimo place. My shield is gone, bro. I need your help. Yeah, I got you, bro. I got you. I got you covered. Hello? Oh, what are these guys? Wait, that's new. That has to be new, bro. I haven't seen oh. that. I actually haven't seen that thing. All right, I'm making a run for the. 
Huh? Oh! There was a creeper right next to the uh, igloo. It's an igloo, that's what it's called. Okay, so there's a furnace in here with nothing. There's a redstone torch. Oh, they're fighting each other. There's a bed. We have a crafting table. And then I think there's something below here. Wait, is there nothing underneath these things? I always thought there was something like, like a hidden door, like a hidden room underneath the igloos, but I guess not. You know, maybe we should head back since we traveled like, you know, 3,500-ish blocks yeah, I'm away. Heading back right now, bro. I'm on the way home, we found one of these sunken nether portals, but there was nothing good inside of him. Just a gold hoe, fortune 3, and some glistering melons. We also came across a shipwreck later that night, but we stayed here for a while and tried searching for the chests, and we kind of got bored of it because it was really hard to find because it was all underwater and it was just hard to, like, look around, so we just gave up. And I know we're making a lot of discoveries here, but I found a pink sheep. I mean, that's what you do when you're exploring. You find a lot of cool stuff. I ended up killing it, though, because I'm probably never going to see it again. All right, so it's day 20 and we've finally gotten back and our boys pointed us in the direction of a village that they found. Uh, so me and Revel traveled like 4,000 blocks away and didn't find anything. I guess now there's a village that's not too far from our house. So we're here now, but it's all looted. Oh yeah, also one thing I just want to mention is that I changed the GUI scale to make it a little bit bigger because I realized it was on a smaller setting than what I usually play with. All right, I'm gonna go back and uh, make make the fletching table or whatever, so we can get some of the the villagers that trade sticks. Cause I think that probably is the easiest way to get emeralds. So I ran all the way back home and I crafted up one of these fletching tables. Now I gotta bring it all the way back to the village. Oh, actually, I think I probably need to get some food first. I'm out of food. And the night has already come upon us on day 21. Things on the server have been moving up really fast for me. I feel like. When I got here, I realized this villager wasn't turning into like the job that I wanted him to. I think it's because it's nighttime right now, so I'm gonna have to wait for a day, and all my friends are away from their beds, so it's gonna be a while. Davis and Providential were in the mines, so I decided to just go mining as well while I was waiting for the day. I didn't really end up finding anything useful though, just got a ton of cobble. And when I came back up, I think it's a day now, just still raining, this dude turned into a Fletcher, which is perfect. Now I just need to get him the stick trade, so I'm just gonna keep on breaking this thing and placing it down again. And there we go, 32 sticks for one emerald, not bad. Time to go grind some wood. After my axe finally broke, I crafted all of my wood into some planks, then turned all those planks into a bunch of sticks. Now I had like seven stacks of sticks I could trade with this guy. Thank you. And at the end, I was able to get 13 emeralds, not bad at all. Alright, so uh, I finally got back home. Me and Revel here are expanding on uh, the basement of our new house. So we're probably going to have the enchantment table as well as the nether portal down here. We're not exactly sure how it's going to look, but we're just thinking of having steps up in like this corner and like also over here as well. So uh, I think I'm just going to keep on clearing this stuff out. I think we should probably have the uh, nether portal like on the side, like on like a left or right side. You see what I'm doing right here with like the, the slabs? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this would, it would make Why it would? look like there's more. I don't know. We're just experimenting with different, you know, materials. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I think we should incorporate some wood into it. Yeah, because if it's all stone, be, it's going to look a bit there's, goofy. There's already going to be some bookshelves, so there's... Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, I think yeah, we should... Let's just do stone. Like let's do stone. It's continuity. Too much it's like... Wood in the continuity and change over time. Bro, we don't need a freaking DVQ. Yo, it's it's <laughs> fine, bro. It's fine. It's because, fine. like, the floor is wooden up top, and then you go down and look up, and yeah. Wait, no. that Yeah, that makes sense, because if the floor is wood up here the roof should be wood yeah no nah, davis is speaker facts all right so we're all in the basement right now and revel over there is experimenting with some like decoration and stuff we're also going to have our enchantment table in that corner as well and i think i'm going to build the portal right on this side i might move it somewhere else further deeper down later on but i don't know there we go and then uh i think that's probably good enough yeah we're experimenting with some of the roof down here as well i think we're switching it out to spruce planks all righty i think we're going to keep it like that for now i think it looks pretty good And looks like Providential was correct, because as you can see down in the corner, Davis actually found a fortress really close to our house. So we had such a lucky nether spawn, man. That's perfect. Dude, I want to jump off. I feel like I have an elytra, but it's sad, bro. We need it. We need it. I would also just like to note that as I'm recording this, 1.19 has just released, and I'm currently playing on a realm, which means I have to be on the latest release of Minecraft. And since Optifine for 1.19 isn't out yet, we're not going to be seeing any shaders for this episode, and hopefully they can release it soon.
So on day 26, I gathered a bunch of blocks that I had on me and I started heading into the nether to find out where this nether fortress was that Prav was talking about. If you remember on day like 24 or 25, I kind of forgot already because I recorded that like three days ago, Providentia found another fortress literally blocks away from our portal. All I had to do was pretty much just turn right from my portal spawn and I found it. It was super simple. We actually got super lucky that it's right next to us because now we don't have to travel tons of blocks to gather blazes and all that stuff. Now let's get started on farming some blazes. I need to get my shield out. Wait, I I dropped my- I remember I dropped my shield like 10 days ago, but I completely forgot to make a new one. Well, that sucks. We're just- let's- let's hope I don't die. A few moments later. Nope, okay, I can't fight these kids. I'm out. I need to get a shield, bro. And I came back with a shield ready and equipped, and I just started farming some blazes here. I pretty much spent the whole day here because I wanted to get at least like 8 blaze rods before I left. Also burned through a ton of food because I kept on getting hurt with all the flames and stuff. So I went back up to the overworld and I sorted out like a really small, really short storage area right outside of our house. I'll sort it out later. And this time I entered the fortress with the goal of just finding some chests and looting it. But after a long time of exploring, I was not able to find any rooms or any sort of stuff like that where I could find loot. So it was kind of a waste of my time to be honest. I didn't even know these things could spawn without chests. So um, basically, we got a bunch of cows here and we're thinking of making a cow pen for them that just looks nicer so we can harvest them in a better way. We're gonna use spruce wood for this, so I'm gonna I'm gonna grow these spruce trees. And for this new cow barn slash slaughterhouse kind of place, I decided to put it kind of near where it originally was, just a little bit behind our house, and I was gonna clear out this kind of mound of dirt that was in the way. Spider, I got you. Oh, uh, they Why you each other, me? Box, 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 box. Yo, let's go. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Yo, yeah, I just got a skeleton. Get jumped by three zombies, bro. Whoa, Davis over here got tons of spruce saplings, bro. Man went out and got a bunch of different trees and just brought back a bunch of goodies for us. Now we're gonna pretty much have infinite wood for life. Oh, so we gotta go to bed, man. These, uh, I forgot what these things are called, but they're coming after us now. Yo, we got Davis dueling an Enderman over here, bro. Who's gonna win? And yeah, in that fight, his sword and his shield broke and he was at half a heart. So that was a very close one, dude. Holy. And I pretty much just continued building into that day, experimenting with different designs and just trying to figure out what would look kind of good here. And we also had a solid little berry bush farm that Davis kind of started and some huge trees. So things were looking pretty good. Also, I have absolutely no idea how I'm going to do this roof. I kind of want to make it out of slabs and make it slant and make it tip kind of in the middle. I'm not sure. It's going to be difficult. I'm never good with these slab type roofs. Hey, uh, do you guys want to go exploring or something? Uh, yeah. In a little bit, in a little bit. I in was going to plan on building the house next, but you know, I feel like I'm, I, I, don't, I don't really want to build anything right now, to be honest. We gotta, we, let's go find some cool stuff. Wait, yo, pause. Let me get my, uh, my pickaxe enchanted real quick. I need to get some more levels. Alright, also, uh, stock up on some food. I guess, let's kill some of the cows. No, jumping on it is the, Before it takes a little bit longer. You just right click it like a minecart. See, that was, that, that, come on, bro. bro. It's, dude, it's not, I'm not getting on it though. He's just jumping. <laughs> it's, it's not that deep, bro. It's not that deep, trust. Should I put the saddle on first? No, no, first? you put the saddle on after you tame it, right? Yeah, after you tame bro, it. Why didn't they let me get on, bro? Dude, they get just don't like apple, you, bro. bro. They just let me ride apple. the bus, bro. Bro, I'm telling you, it's easier <laughs> to get an apple, bro. Nah, no, this is gonna be perfect though, because last time me and Revel went out and explored, we just walked, and with horses, it's gonna be like 10 times better. Wait, can we bring horses onto the boat or no? No, we can't. But... Onto a boat. Bro, we could be like the Spanish, bro. All right, let, let's head up. Let's head off in this direction. Um, let's just start going, and then. Oh wait, actually, we should probably get the cords of our house. Yo, Prov, are you coming, bro? Where you? I'm. I'm where y'all at? This we man was. Oh, okay, we gotta go back for him now. Come on. Wait, dude. pause. I'm chilling, bro. I am vibing bro, with my dog. Pause way too much, man. Bro. Oh shoot! The skeleton just shot my horse. Oh god, this is bad. Yeah, during that night, my horse actually ended up dying, so I had to go get a new one real quick. It was pretty easy, though. Dude, what is this mangrove propagool thing, dude? I might have to cop one. I have 13 emeralds on me, so I can get one. Yeah, get one, get one, get one, get one, get one, get one. Should I place get it? Get one, get one. Yeah, place it. Yeah, place it, place it. Dude, it's like a decorative, like, flower kind of thing. Okay, good. We can break it back. That's kind of cool, I guess. Uh, is that is that the 1.19 thing? Probably is. Hey, one time, you are never getting this back, bro. This is no, it's gone. my five hard earned emeralds, bro. This is so sad. Yo, I gotta get my horse back here, dude. This kid's running away from me, man. 
Wait, what's in here? Let's look at it, bro. Yeah, it looks crazy. A new biome. We we could probably find like the new underground biome in there. And we can leave them in here for now, I guess. This is not humane in any way, but you know what? It's Minecraft, it'll work. Yo, get your big horses out of here, bro. Yo, yo your horses are massive, bro. Get them out of here. <laughs> Our horses are the same size. What are you talking about, bro? You gotta make it bigger than this, dude. Our horses are not gonna fit in here. Make it a uh, three by three. Get get out, get out. Make your own. Hey! Whoa, 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 Davis. Whoa, Chill. Geez. Yeah, we're pretty much just set to take a little break and just go mining in the caves together as like a group for a bit. All right, so uh, yeah, we got a we found a mine trap down here, which is pretty nice, but no new biome yet. So I guess we should keep on looking. Wait, are there no chests around here? But I can't I can't see any mine trap. Yo, bro, guys, come down here, bro. Doesn't this look man-made, bro? It's like huge. Wait, cavern. what? Wait, this is weird. No, like it's actually a straight square. So <laughs> That's whack. Davis, I gotta like treat him like a, I gotta treat him like a child, bro. Golly. Yeah, guys, I actually don't treat your loved ones like that, bro, but, like, I don't, I don't care about it. Bruh. I found a spider spawner. Good, good, good. Oh, I see, wait, this is kind of yeah, cool. I see chain. Wait, oh, is this a new oh, place? It's, 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 it's a poisonous one. Ah! Ah! Yeah, ah! Yo, come here, come here, come here. You guys want to go for a swim, bro? I found a pool. Oh, I see, I see. Whoa, wait, this is actually sick. Oh, that's actually crazy. Wait, this goes no, down guys. deep, dude. Holy. Yeah, oh, there's diamonds! Hold. There's diamonds! Wait, these are gonna be my first diamonds, bro. Hey, uh, these are- uh, I gotta get these, bro. Uh, I don't- I don't- I can't- I can't, I can't, bro. It's underwater. Dude. It's gonna be hard to get. I got them, I got them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Efficiency, efficiency. No way, man. No way. And Providentia, out of the kindness of his heart, decided to give me a couple of diamonds so I can make a demon pickaxe. What a nice guy. Yo, guys! We just found some glow squids. <laughs> Let's go kill him. What is that, dude? Please don't do that ever again. <laughs> don't do that ever again. <laughs> I'll never do that again. I promise. Please keep that in. Please, please, <laughs> brother. People need to hear that. All right, let's get some glow ink sacks, though, for real. And with the morning of day 33 quickly approaching, we finally got back up to our horses, and we were probably just gonna start heading home. Cause honestly, there's not much out here that's too interesting for us. Looks like we found one of these uh, flower hills or whatever they're called. Uh, I'm gonna harvest a bunch of these flowers because they're good for decoration. Oh, he mad. Providential, 1v2. Oh, he gets one. Hey, why is he coming for me? Yo, why is he going for me? What is he doing? I think you have to use like some sort of tool. I forgot exactly what it was to like harvest honey out of those things. Whoa, what just, dude, there's a bunch of mobs that are following us in the water and Providential's horse looks like he's not having a fun time right here. Hopefully he makes it out okay. I think he should be okay. And just a few seconds later, Davis gets blown up by a creeper right next to his horse. Things are not going well, man. Good thing we're like kind of close to our house. We're only like a couple hundred blocks away, I think. And when we finally arrived home on day 34, I continued working on our house. Just finishing up the roof because this thing has been on a hold since, I don't know when I started this, like day like 11 or something like that. I think I'm just going to continue building while Prov has been focusing a lot on enchantments these past couple of days. Alright, so I managed to finish the roof on that one section of the house, but I feel like this like walkway is really small, so I think I might just end up expanding the entire house like to the right, and just make it more thicker and wider, because I realized how small this house was. I really wish I could use replay mode to show you guys how I built this thing, but since we're on the newest version of Minecraft, there is no supported Optifabric version yet, it just kind of sucks. And finally, I finished laying out the extension, and it kind of just looked like this. I should probably change this pillar right here, it kind of looks a bit ugly. But it's pretty basic, and we can put the chest storage area on the outside of the house. And on day 35, I decided to go get some wood because I wanted to start trading with villagers again because if we want to get a step closer to defeating the end dragon, we need to get geared up first. So I spent a large part of the day just cutting down some of these big spruce trees, and then I traveled all the way over to the village to trade with that one Fletcher guy. I think tonight we might focus on trying to get a zombie villager to spawn somewhere near our house and trap him so we don't have to walk super far every single time we want to trade. Once I arrived there, the sun was saying and I woke up this guy right out of his bed demanding to trade with him. We gonna make some good money from you today. I don't know what you're gonna do with all these sticks honestly, but I guess I shouldn't ask. Thank you. So during this night, I think we're gonna go and try and track down one of those zombie villagers around here. I've seen a couple of them in our early days, and we are in hard difficulty, so they shouldn't be that rare to find. Let's see how this goes. Guys, I found a zombie villager. No, I didn't. Uh, he was by the sugarcane area. I'm gonna trap him in like a 2x2 two two down here. All right, I gotta get this dude inside this hole somehow, bro. And then we gotta cover him up so it doesn't burn in the day, you know? Wait, actually, I actually have an idea. I'll drop in, and then he follows me, and then I'll just go like this. That's not working, that's not oh. working. Oh, oh, there we go. oh, oh, we're good, we're good, we're good. Alright, that's fine, and then we just gotta yeah, cover up his head. I have nine blaze rods that I got from the nether adventure I did on like day like 26 or something, so I'll just grab those, we can make a ruin stand, and then yeah, we can get all that stuff set up. 
So once day came, I gathered the materials for our fermented spider eye and then just put this brewing stand in this really cool area over here. I think it makes a really sick mini brewing setup. And oh shoot, I kind of forgot the water bottle. I was gonna grab that. And now we got some potions of weakness, but the only thing we're missing right now is some gunpowder. So I also gotta go to grab that. Kids, remember to grab all of your materials before making potions. Anyways, now once I put this in, it should be able to make some splash potions and then we can go cure that villager. All right, so I'm just gonna cure this kid real quick. Got the splash potion of weakness. And then put the golden apple on him. And now we gotta wait like five-ish minutes and then we should be good to go. Uh, oh, no. What's going on here, Davis? Uh, it's, it just happened, bro. That's crazy. What just happened? Wait, wait, wait. what happened? Uh, something am. concerning your 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 pets. Uh, I think they might be very sick. Yo! No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, Davis, I'm joking. Um, it's on site, it's on site, it's on site. I think we can leave it like that, Davis. They, they yeah, can, they yeah, can chill. that's good. That's Wait, good. they're right here. They're right here. What you mean they see now? They, they look fine. I got three right here. They're they're right on me, bro. Where are you? What? You been attacking three innocent dogs, bro? <laughs> you attacking three random Davis, dogs? Davis, were they innocent the dogs? Do they have a collar on them? <laughs> yeah. So I thought they were his, man. No, Davis. Mine are right here, bro. Mine are right here. All three of them. There's so right many here. dogs. That's because his dogs teleported. They weren't sitting down, Davis. Oh, that's so cringe. Yeah, I guess I guess Davis right? does kind of deserve this for the <laughs> the war crimes that he committed, but. <laughs> So on day 37, we all kind of gathered around the enchantment table because we finally got it maxed out. And my friends have been getting a lot of XP for a while, but I'm kind of lacking. But now it's a good thing that we have level 30 enchants. I think I'm going to try enchanting a little bit more. So I got my diamond pickaxe that Prov actually gifted me those three diamonds for. And uh, I don't, I can't get that on breaking 3. I'm just going to get this on breaking 2, whatever. Alright, yeah, I should definitely go and grind some levels. So I also spent a bit of day 38 grinding these levels as well, trying to get to level 30. And when I came back and finally reached the 30 levels, I put my diamond pickaxe in and it said on breaking 3. And when I clicked it, we got efficiency 4 on breaking 3 and silk touch. What a perfect set of enchants for my first pickaxe. That's gonna be crazy. We're eventually gonna need a non silk touch pickaxe, but this thing should do for now. And I kind of forgot about this villager guy, but I checked back in on him on day 39. And I set up this mini like fletching setup here. And we do have discounted trades. So that's really sick. I'm going to start using this guy a lot. And hopefully this can give us a little boost in early game emerald making. And I kind of did it like this. So hopefully, I, I think mobs can't get him like that. Because there's like a one block gap. So Davis over here actually had a really good idea of making a elevator, Which is just a one by one block drop that goes straight down to the bottom of the earth. That way we can get down to like diamond level and all the new caves and all that stuff really fast. Yeah, so I think this is just gonna be a good spot for like the elevator. We can like decorate it and stuff later if we want to make it look nice, but I think for now, no, nah, this is a good idea though, for real. Because then we can like get down to like negative 59 like really fast and then we can like find all the new stuff with like the new caves like, and all that crazy make it stuff. Bigger, you know? Get like a sky base with like glass. They just got good ideas for real, bro. They just got good ideas. Yeah, actually, no, we should actually make that though. Sounds like a fun project. So on day 40, I think I'm going to start working on our storage system because we've been through 40 days in this world and we still do not have storage. We just have a bunch of chests in random places. And well, this might take a while, but I'm probably going to do like part of it. I'm probably not going to move it all right now because I'm kind of lazy, but this is what it's looking like right now. I think it looks pretty nice. Good way to store most of our blocks and I like using item frames. I might have to remove them out for signs later though because I think they count as entities and can end up lagging the world. Just a tip for anyone who wants to use item frames. I'm coming down, Davis. Okay. Jesus, this thing goes down so far. Is this bedrock? Oh my goodness, yeah. bro. That's crazy, bro. I need to find a cave down here. I can't just dig in a straight. Wait, are you guys gonna make uh, all like the caves that we pass through like glass borders? One iron, yeah. iron yeah. shovel. Wait, that's gonna be sick. Cause when you go down, you'll look around, you'll see all the caves and stuff out of the glass. So I mined for a bit and I came across diamonds pretty early on. I was thinking about saving it for fortune later since I had silk touch, but I decided I, I, it's fine. Honestly, I'm just gonna take these three. It's gonna be okay. Hopefully later on, finding diamonds shouldn't be too difficult. I kept on digging straight and I came across a big cave that was seemingly looted before as there were some torches behind me, but it was a good start. I think I was gonna keep on digging out really far to find more caves, but geez, there are a lot of mobs down here. I need to get back inside of my tunnel, man. This stuff can be really dangerous. And I also came across one of these amethyst geodes, which were pretty cool. I haven't been able to see a lot of these since I think they're kind of rare. But I stayed here and collected like a stack of this block, because this stuff looks amazing for builds. I'm not sure what these amethyst shards do either, but I'm gonna get some of these too. And after a bit more mining, I even came across another patch of diamonds, and this was also another three vein. Kind of unlucky, but I think this is alright. Now we got six diamonds in total. I think that's pretty decent. 
We should probably look toward getting two villagers soon so we can start breeding them and making all the different types of them. I think next up the villager that does that one like glass pane trick is probably better because we do have a desert right next to us. I also began working more on the downstairs area because we haven't done this in a while and I think we should make this thing a lot bigger and hopefully give me more ideas of what to add on and what to build down here because I think this could be used as a really cool space. So a little update here, I think I'm going to make this section dip down that's kind of by the nether portal because we are pretty close to the surface. Like if we dig one block up, I'm pretty sure we hit the surface. It's kind of coming together, I guess. And I also changed the flooring of the first section when you come in just to give it a little bit more spark and flavor, you know. I also did a bit of like tidying up work, including finishing up the ceiling. And I know that it's kind of like going out onto the surface a little bit, as you can see here. But I'm probably going to end up covering it up with like a mountain or some sort of like natural formation. And after a bunch of that construction, I decided to go out on the night of 46 and search for another zombie villager, but I was ultimately unsuccessful in my goal. Was not able to find one this night. Day 47 was actually quite simple, I didn't really do much except for just continue building the house area, this time focusing on the roof. I started closing off the ceiling here because I thought it was a bit too high, and maybe I can turn it into like an attic of some sort. Now here's a little update for you guys. So on the inside we got all the ceilings looking pretty nice, looking pretty fancy. Most importantly we got this attic thing right here. If you stand on the chest and go up, you can see there's kind of like a not so hidden attic. Nice little windows, a little bit squished but it's okay. And there's also a chest with emeralds at the very end, greeting the first person to find that. I think it's a pretty cool addition, maybe I can just add some extra storage up there. And on that night of day 47, I did go out and look for a zombie villager again and this time I was successful finding one except he was a bit further away from my house. It was kind of a hard journey to walk all the way back, dodging all the mobs. He did make it back here safely though into the little pit I dug for him. It was a close call though because I was at 3.5 hearts. So I grabbed my weakness potion and a golden apple and then I threw all that stuff onto him. Now this is going to be a great start into our villager trading journey. I made a cartographer table and I placed it down in front of him, changing our new villager into a cartographer. Now his first trade is going to be paper, we can do that really easily. There we go, now that I leveled him up he should give us glass panes. Let's go, only 5 glass panes for 1 emerald, that is crazy cheap and we also have access to the Ocean Explorer map so you can go to see monuments pretty soon. I mean you're kinda close, cause this is the last, this is the last stretch yeah. of like, Bro, should cave. I put like doors, like at the, like, oh wait that'd be a good idea. Levels? Yeah. You could put like a, oh wait actually, it won't work because if you're gonna have kelp here, I just go too fast. I think, I'm not 100% sure, I'm not, I don't know, I think it might not work though. I can just do it later. Dude, I want to jump off. I feel like I have an elytra, but it's sad, bro. We need it. We need it. Yo! Hey, that's toxic, bro, man. He's taking too long, man. So after that little incident, I just went back up and went to our new villager over here. And I'm going to start connecting these guys' houses so then I can make like a bigger room for them. We're eventually going to make like a full fledged out villager trading center. But right now, we're just going to have like a really crude layout. Just so we can start letting the villagers breed and kind of build a population. Now it's nighttime. Here's what it's looking like. I'm just going to make the roof a little bit bigger right here. This is definitely going to work. I'll come back and give them more food so they can actually breed. Bro, Prav is officially the farmer of this SMP, dude. Man's always taking exactly, care of the animals, dude. Bro. We have so many chickens now, bro. That's crazy. Chickens? Well, guys, how do you feel? We've made it to 50 days. We're halfway there. Not gonna, I'm mad tired, bro. I'm tired. <laughs> Working real hard, you know? Grinding day in, day out, you know? Straight days, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> My back's hurting, you know? My back is breaking, you know? Well, we are only at iron armor still, and we're on day 50, we're halfway to 100, and most people probably be killing the energy dragon by now, you know? So we're kind of behind. But that does mean next episode, we're going to be doing a lot of crazy stuff, and hopefully getting full diamond armor for all of us so we can fight the energy dragon. Y'all need to get your money up, I'm not broke like y'all. So on day 51, I traveled into the nether and gathered some soul sand, since one of my friends needed them, and we also will probably be using these for future builds as well. We can just, I'll just put a door. Oh yeah, or you could have signs. Signs or doors, that would work. Oh yeah, signs, it's just the signs. Yo, this thing is sick. It goes so fast. Wait, can you go up to the entire way with one breath? Yes. Wait, do your bubbles not disappear when you're going up the elevator? My bubbles aren't changing, that's weird. But then if I sit inside like normal water, it does decrease. Yeah, because the bubbles are water. The bubbles are air. Alright, yeah. is that what it yeah. is? Yeah. That's crazy. That, I swear it's that was like, not a thing before. I thought it was a glitch at first, bro. This is sick. And I also spent that day working more on that cow barn because I kind of forgot about it, I'm going to be honest. Because our current big pen is honestly more efficient and it's working out better. This is just kind of one of those like decorative things. They're just going to look nice in the world. 
On day 52, I traveled down into the villager prison and I found out that one of my babies actually grew up because it has been a long time since I visited these guys. I gave them a bit more food and hopefully they can breed again because I do have four beds in here. All right, um, now I just need to make a grindstone. That's what I was going to do. I forgot. All right, so craft a grindstone. Let's bring this down to the villager. All right, now that he's a weaponsmith, we should be able to get diamond swords, diamond axes, all that kind of good stuff. In the meantime, though, my inventory is going to be full with these iron axes. And from days 52 to 53, I continued expanding the villager area because this is going to be the main way we're going to progress and get diamond tools and diamond stuff. Unfortunately, one of the people on the server are going to have to leave in two days from when we recorded this. So that's kind of why we've been rushing to kill the ender dragon so he's not left out, you know. I also built a dedicated farm for our potatoes and carrots since we were pretty much running out and I really needed them for villagers. Without this food, our villagers are gonna starve and they will not make babies, man. Yeah, um, I made a separate farm, I don't know if you guys saw, for all of, like, for our carrots and potatoes and stuff. Yeah. So, it, it's, like, connected to the wheat farm. I'm just gonna bone mill it all up. Yeah, actually, I actually have, like, a project idea right now, bro. You wanna tell us what it is? Uh, you'll see, you'll see. <laughs> Alright, I, I like see. that, it's a surprise. <laughs> you'll find out, bro. Bro, uh, golden shovels last for like 10 seconds, bro. Golden Golly. shovels? No, golden shovels, bro. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why would you use a golden shovel? It formed like 10 <laughs> On day 54, I started gathering some materials mainly to spruce wood for this new villager trading place. I wanted to build an actual designated trading hall. We're past day 50 and these guys are still living in a dirt hole, man. We can't have these guys in these terrible conditions. It just feels so wrong. It'll look so much better and also be more accessible and is more easy to access. So I'm trying to pick a place for this villager pen thing. I think I'm gonna do it behind the house in this area over here. It kind of has a perfect place and it's decently flat. I'm just gonna have to clear out this tiny little mound over here. Once I cleared out a more flatter ground, I continued building into the sunset, and I wanted to go for more of like a rustic feel, kind of similar to our house, using mainly just spruce wood. Should provide a little bit of contrast from the light color of the oak in our actual house, but I'm going to be using a lot of these trapdoors, because I really like how they look as walls. And I continued on to day 55, building out the flooring, I'm going to do like a pattern of stone bricks as well as just normal smooth stone. I think it gives it kind of like a scattered look, it's, it's alright. All right, let's check out these villagers here. Okay, yeah, we do have one more baby. That's perfect. And uh, I came here just to trade some more emeralds, to be honest. I forgot I had a ton of glass panes in my inventory from like a while ago. I have no idea how I'm going to make this villager thing, dude. I'm trying to... Uh, I kind of forgot how I used to make them. All right, I think I have the villager place set up. I just have to move them now, which is going to be annoying. Bro, it's literally... But jeez, you expanded whole... this thing so much. Man, literally made it the complete perimeter of like... Everything, bro. Oh my goodness. Oh, we're not getting enough papers, so I was like, this. Wait, bro, we have an iron golem, dude. We had an iron golem spawned in, bro. This is crazy. Wait, 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 wait. Right wait, here, right here. Thing? Yo, right. yo, 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 wait, 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 can we, can we make a thing? An iron farm? Uh, well, you're, you're gonna need three, I think like three separate villagers, though. So we're gonna have to keep on breeding a lot of villagers. Yeah, I'm killing it. All right, well, I got the fletching tables. Holy, there's a lot of villagers in here. I think I might have to expand it even more, honestly. Two fletching tables. Now we got two dudes that trade sticks. He's <laughs> not a church. <laughs> bro, man, yo, Davis, come here, bro. He make it a church. Yeah, I know. I'm Wait, what is this? Right. What is this game? Is that a cross? Bruh. Is that a cross up there? It looks like a cross. <laughs> 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 it's not a cross. Can no I change bro, it, bro? Do you bro. think, like, people actually mess a cross? No, no, no. I don't think, I think it's fine. It's fine. It looks like a chimney, kind of. Like a 2D chimney. It's not thick, but... Wait, is this a, is this a greenhouse, bro? No. No, no. This cool. this looks like a greenhouse design, bro. Like have plants growing and stuff in here, and then like a glass roof. Okay, what the have like different levels to it. Like, yeah, that, yeah, that'd be sweet. That'd be sweet for real. No, oh, see, I was gonna. I, I now y'all gave me a good idea, but like I can't do that now. Yo, can I have some food? Okay, this can actually make it a church. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that actually looks kind of fire, bro. Yeah, it looks kind of hard. Fire, bro. It's fire, bro. He goes hard. He goes hard. It's fire, bro. On day 57, I started building the underground railroad system that I was going to use to carry these villagers to their new home. Now, this is going to be one of the most annoying parts. Moving villagers through minecarts, man, it gives me a headache. I just continued working on villagers for the next couple of days, trying to push these guys through, but they just wouldn't budge, man. Why are you bullying me? Come on, come on, let's see this dude up here. Now, this should work if it all goes well. Yep, he turned into the armor villager. Now, if we just walk inside really quick. Uh, I gotta figure out how to break his minecart, actually. If I break this piece of dirt, yeah, there we go. It should work. Then break his minecart, and there we go. He stays in there. Now, I said I do this like 10 more times. Yes, sir. Where's the baby at? I pushed it through the other guy. Oh. Oh, shoot. He's going. He's running back. No, come back. Where are you going? Where are you going? Chill. They're so goofy sometimes, bro. They, they, they be rebellious, bro. Also, Revel, I got two lectern villagers down in there if you want to take a look. 
Oh, wait, do I do it now? Should I do it? Uh, yeah, you can, but hold on. Yeah, yeah, th there's dirt blocks, so if you break the thing, they can't run out. What am I looking for? I mean, mending, unbreaking three, that kind of stuff. Those are like the universal enchants that like all, all tools and weapons would need. So on day 60, I kind of just sat here and worked with this librarian, cycling its trades, hoping to get something good. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this, but we do have a Fire Aspect 2 Librarian right there, which could be nice because my friends have been using a lot of experience trying to get Fire Aspect on their sword and they've been failing. I really don't know what I'm looking for, probably just Mending or Unbreaking. It took a while, but I eventually did get Mending, so that's great. I gotta make sure that I lock the trade before I leave, because one time I didn't lock it and he ended up losing it. You killed two. You Man killed like all you. of the skeleton horses when they disappeared, bro, it's sad. But it's kinda cool, we can make like a pen from. And since our trading hall was kind of getting packed up, I had to extend it out. This thing is coming together pretty nicely though. We got a lot of work done here today. Fire protection bro, I should have I, I should have stayed when I first saw it, bro. I, I need the I need the diamond armor, bro. No. Let's go, finally. I'm pretty sure if we all buy boots and leggings, it should upgrade it to the next level. Alright, yes, sir. Depth strider, fire protection, it's kinda bad, but I mean we could use this armor to like enchant it in the enchantment table anyway. Finally, I have diamond armor. It's day like 62 or 63. I actually forgot what day it was. And I continued trading on that day just to get more emeralds because I heard from one of my fellow friends that the villager has unlocked the chestplate and helmet trade. I ran over to the trading hall as fast as possible and was able to count myself a full diamond set. Although all my emeralds were gone, I was looking pretty awesome with this full enchanted diamond armor. We are getting one step closer to being able to fight the ender dragon. And on day 62, I took a well-deserved break on getting those villagers ready and decided to do a little bit of enchanting since I had 36 levels. I ended up getting fire protection 4 two times though and it's an unbreaking 3, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, I did not end up getting anything really good from all this. Gotta grind some more levels. This, this, this is not okay. This needs to stop now. Sus up, sus up. Where is it? Where is it? I threw one. I threw he one. I threw me. one. I threw one. No, you didn't. Look at these kids trying to get these emeralds. Oh, I got one. Nah, oh, they're no. hungry, bro. They're for real hungry. Let's start. Yo, out, yo, yo. yo, keep, keep going, bro. Yo, this. Oh you... my God, bro. Mr. Beast type beat, yes, sir. I'm kind of crazy, bro. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, who got that? No way you got that one, bro. What? I saw Davis. Davis was like on first. No, I'm actually out. I'm actually out. I'm actually out. That was it. That was, that was kind of entertaining. I only got five, man. I dropped I 18, bro. I got... How did I get eight? <laughs> I came back with some more levels, hoping to get a better enchant on my diamond chest plate. I saw Unbreaking 3 two times again, and when I enchanted it, I ended up getting Blast Protection 4 two times in a row instead of Fire Protection. I guess the Minecraft gods did listen to me, but come on. I don't want this, man. I then bought a bow from one of the Fletchers and decided to trade it and this time on my first time I was able to get Unbreaking 3 Power 3. So much more lucky than my armor, it should be good enough for the Ender Dragon fight. I then fixed this one part in our house, we used to have like a really long hallway here that was just bland and boring. I decided to make a wall of paintings and a secret entrance into our bedroom. I think it looks cooler and it just, it's a fun way to enter the bedroom, you know. And we could also include like some decorations, like some bookshelves, armor stands in this other room as well. Oh, and also, I guess I haven't really given a proper introduction to this build. Providentia actually started creating this a couple of days ago. And he wasn't exactly sure what it was going to be. He kind of just let his creativity flow a bit and just started building a random structure. At first, I thought it was going to be a greenhouse. Personally, I think it could have turned into a really cool greenhouse, but let's see what he does with this. So currently, the boys have just been grinding out levels and also grinding out enchants because we are trying to get ready for the dragon fight, so they want to get the best gear they can. In the meantime, I've been continuing work on the villager trading hall, finally building a roof on it so no zombies can get it in turn these guys into zombie villagers. I decided to go for like a pointy straight roof that I used to do in a lot of my older builds. It really gives it a cool medieval like churchy kind of type look. This is probably one of my favorite roof designs to use. Now here's what the trading halls looks like with the front skeleton bit completed. We also got that special hole right there. I think it's probably going to be like a window of some sort. And I also changed the sides completely. Instead of just making it normal planks, I kind of had the stairs and trapdoors. And inside here, it looks kind of boring right now, but I might end up decorating it a little bit more. Maybe add some plants and all that stuff and finish up the end wall. What's up, Rebel? Yeah, we have two, we have two uh, unused villagers here, so I'll make one to clear it because we need the... We need Ender Pearls. Oh, it's a redstone dust trade for the first level. That's good. I thought it was going to be like rotten. I thought you had to do rotten flesh. One emerald for one lapis, two gold ingots for one emerald. That's not, that's not terrible. I'm going to... Oh, I don't have em emeralds left, bro. Yo, somebody Wait, somebody that has emeralds, come trade with the cleric real quick because we need to get the enderpool trade so we can... Wait, wait, wait. 
Wait, Davis, we might have to kill this villager because uh, he does not have the he does not have the enderpearl trade. It's like it's like a 50-50 chance, and he didn't get it, so we're gonna have to kill him. Hopefully, if I kill him this way, the other villagers won't get mad. Will this will this work? I wanna see. I'm trying to drown the villager. I'm dying. Help me. Yo, I'm sorry about this, man. I'm actually drowning him right now. Oh, he's actually dying. His other friend is watching him, bro. Hopefully, this does not ruin my reputation for him. The only reason I did this is because I think, like, if you actually, like, kill the villagers yourselves, the other villagers will see you and get mad or something, and then they'll, like, reduce their trades, so... You know, gotta, gotta make it smart. Oh, and his friend that watched him die has turned into the new cleric, so that works, I guess. That's, that's not a friend, bro. That's an awful <laughs> For real, bro. He watched him die and just took over his job, bro. Nah, he was waiting, bro. He was waiting. That's literally an op. I don't know what you mean, friend. That's literally an op. So I was told that our new cleric villager actually does have the enderpearl trade. So I'm gonna check it out. Let me see how much this thing costs. Cause we're gonna probably have to buy like 20 or so of these. Yeah, four emeralds. What's the math here? I don't, I don't know how to do math. I don't know, like 80 emeralds? That's gonna be a lot. In the middle of our emerald grinding, waiting for the villager trace to reset, we traveled over to the nether fortress in search for more blaze powder to make those sweet eyes of ender. It was so much easier now because I actually had a bow this time. I don't know why I didn't bring a bow last time I went here. Why just grow up in front of my face? Man, they just grew up when I was looking at him. No, get back in. Why, why are they in the, the underground rubble? They should not be there. Come on, guys. Come back in your house. Oh, now this kid's running too. Wait, so I think if you walk by it... Wait, come here. Watch, watch this. I think if you walk by it, like, it turns into like a bunch of stuff. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. That's crazy. All right, here. Okay, how are we going to do this? Wait, wait, how do you how do you kill the guy on top of the skeleton? Wait, oh, one shot one. Oh, you have to use it. Just use an axe. If you use an axe, it only targets the person you're aiming at. All right, now we actually have to pen them up. Get them inside a pen so they don't like die. Can't move. Yo, there's another skeleton or something. I can't move. Yeah, yeah, I can't move. I can't ride these guys right now. I don't know what's going on. Saddle, saddle. saddle. Oh, you need a saddle. Yeah, go grab the. I'm, I'm gonna have to yoink one from my actual right, horse. Go grab the leashes, bro. Honestly, bro, I'm too lazy. Sheesh. Yes, sir. Nah, no way, bro. Move him into like a safe place where he can't die because the last time, I don't know how, but- Oh no, because the thing was open. The, yeah. the pen was open. That's how Prov's skeleton horse died, right? Yeah. yeah. One last thing before we get ready to go fight the ender dragon. I'm just gonna grab a diamond sword real quick. This is probably gonna be useful against him. I'm also gonna go enchant it too because Bane of Arthropods is not gonna do anything. And after a couple of tries, oh my goodness, we got Sharpness 4, Unbreaking 3, and Fire Aspect 2. What a W of a sword. What else do we really need? I guess Sharpness 5 and Mending. That's about it. A sweeping Edge maybe? So, on day 69, we decided to start heading off to fight the Ender Dragon. The first time I threw Bruh. out the pearl, it broke instantly. And for some stupid reason, I decided to throw it out again. I don't know why, I just wanted to try. And, testing my luck, it broke once Bruh. again. Two times in a row, I couldn't believe it. Right then and there, we decided to head back, first of all, to get more Eyes of Ender, and also to make boats for us. Because we're probably gonna have to trek across the ocean. So, the gang decided to take a little pit stop because we did find a buried treasure map. The first one of the world. Let's go find out where that thing is. Honestly, this thing was decently far, a little bit further than I expected, so it was kind of a longer pit stop than we anticipated. It was all the way across the stretch of land as well. Oh, this is where it is, bro. I was kind of off, dude. Where's the treasure chest, bro? We can Oh, there it is, there it is. Finally, bro. Heart of the Sea, water breathing potion. That's it. Exactly. Let's go. Yeah. No, that's fire. That's fire. That's totally worth. 100% worth. 100% worth word. going off our course, you know. And we pretty much travel all the way through day 70. Finally, on day 71, our eyes of Ender started stopping and just meeting in one certain point around this area in this nice forest. We started digging down and we had a little bit of fun with Prov here, nearly killing him. I threw a bunch of sand on his head, but I went down there and ended up saving him anyway. Nobody was harmed in the making of this. We should be okay. Let's continue going down. And soon enough, we all found ourselves getting the eye spy achievement walking into the stronghold. The first thing I actually found was a library, and I was delighted because that means I'm never gonna have to make books again. I'm gonna get as much of these things as possible. Most of the chests I found in the libraries were trash, but I did come across this with Mending, Efficiency 4, and a Power 4 book. This was insane because I don't have efficiency and I only have power through my bow. What an upgrade. I don't see you. Bro, have y'all found the room yet? Uh... <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> 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 Die, bro. Did you yeah, jump inside of the thing? What, what are you doing, yeah, bro? Yeah, no, why are you jumping inside, bro? You're so stupid. Alright, you ready for this, boys? Am I just gonna jump in straight away? Three, two, one. Sheesh! Let's go, boys! Alright, so the first thing we're gonna have to do is pillar How up. How do we get down there, bro? Get to one of the pillars. If any Endermen target you, just use water buckets because they can't go in water. So then, like, they kind of are forced to just, like, 
not attack you, you know. Alright, I think I'm gonna destroy the first one. Hopefully I don't get knocked back too far. Yes sir, I got the first one down. There we go, got another one. I think there's only a couple more left. Uh, I think I almost looked at one of the Endermen. Yeah, let's, I think we just have to shoot the Ender Dragon now. Oh, there's a ton of Endermen on me, bro. This is bad. Dude, why is it so dark and blurry in here, bro? I feel like I can barely see him. All right, he's down here. Where's his head? Oh, this is taking. This is doing so much damage to him, bro. He's literally one HP. How can how none of us hit him, bro? One time. I got hit him once. There we go. Let's go. Davis got it. No <laughs> way, bro. No way. Okay, let's get all the let's get all the XP. Level 43, level 43. That's a dub. Bruh. Oh, wait, I die? Well, that sucks. I'll hear Prof, I'll get your stuff for you and then I'll bring it back to you in the overworld. And at the end, we gathered up the egg and we'll probably be making a statue or a museum or something for this egg later on. So as soon as we got home, I decided to get building on this idea that I had in mind since the very beginning. Now, if you can guess, I've done this build in all of my hardcore series, including season one and season two. I actually found a Reddit post with this picture a long time ago, and I always thought it was really cool and I really wanted to implement it in my own world somehow, so all credit goes to him, but it's kind of a tradition, you know, so I think I have to build it in this world as well. And like I mentioned earlier in the video, Optifine 1.19 is currently not out, including Optifabric, which means I cannot use replay mode. But you can still see how I build this thing. I'm going to leave a link to my 400 days in Minecraft hardcore video, as well as a timestamp of when I build it. Because I actually show a building montage of how I completely build the entire statue, it's really simple, so you can follow along really easily. Well anyway, it was perfect. I was able to finish the statue on day 75 after gathering a couple of materials from the nether fortress, which is perfectly three-fourths of the way there. Now if you're wondering what the hole underneath that dude's foot is going to be, we're going to be putting the ender dragon head there, but we have not gotten elytras yet. We're going to be doing that very, very soon. So on day 76, we began having talks about starting a creeper farm. So Davis made a fishing rod and went to go get some fish, while I went down here and did a little bit of enchanting. I actually managed to get protection 4 on my leggings, nothing else though, but I think that's gonna be alright. Cause we'll probably end up having an unbreaking villager sometime soon. Also went down into our villager hole and took the toolsmith that was in there previously and moved him into our new area. I'm still sitting with an iron shovel, that needs to change. I had to take a little break from villagers and actually get a bunch of iron because a trade called for 3 iron ingots for an emerald to level up that toolsmith. And finally when I got back I was able to do the iron trade. Now let's see what this guy's next level is. Okay, now we're gonna have to do 16 emeralds for an iron axe. Might as well do it. I have a decent amount of emeralds right now. It shouldn't be too bad. And I think now we're on the diamond axe level. Yep, there we go. Now we got diamond axes. I think there's one more until we reach the diamond shovels. Are you doing one layer for now? Because I think one layer is like two cats, right? I think I've seen this. I've used this design like every time. Oh, oh, here's a cat. Come here, buddy. Come here. Don't run away from me. Oh, let's go. I got a freaking cat. Yes, sir. All right, now I just gotta head back. Hopefully, I can find another cat near our house somewhere. On my way home, on the outskirts of the town, I saw another cat, but I only had four fishes on me, so I wasn't feeling too confident that I would tame this dude. Yeah, it turns out I gave the cat all four of my fishes, and he just didn't like me, so that kind of sucks. I'm gonna have to leave him here, get some more fishes, and hopefully just find one near the base. After a little, like, tidying up stuff around the base and scourging around, I was able to find this really cool looking black cat. It made me run all the way over to the old cow pen before he let me catch him. Alright, let's bring you back over to Davis. Now, Revel here also gave me six ender pearls because I wanted to go and get some elytras for us. I'm probably gonna get one or two. I don't know if I'm gonna get us all three elytras. And that's gonna take a while since I don't have much time left until the end of 100 days. And I basically just traveled on boat and walking and got there by day 80 since I kind of knew where it was already It was a lot quicker than last time on my way over to the end portal I came and stopped by the library for some bookshelves for planks and also chests You'll see why in a minute. I also managed to find an unlooted chest with one single diamond in it But this is why I needed some extra wood on me I made a crafting table and that way when I find shulkers I can create them instantly into shulker boxes giving me more storage And I also needed to make a trap door because I actually forgot to bring one and I didn't want to waste an ender pearl on this because using a trap door also works really easily all you gotta do is place the trap door like so and go underneath it and then you can just walk straight in there we go we are officially in the end city territory now i just gotta go and find one Jeez, i always hate doing this man using these enterprises they're kind of risky but i always try to make sure that i'm pretty close before i throw them to guarantee that i can make it in basically yeah there we go whoa 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 why why are they mad at me whoa one sec i gotta hide in here bro what did i do to make you guys mad man come on 
I was able to get a ton of end stone while I was here though, because I needed a bit more building blocks for my bridges, but also I was just able to get tons of stacks so we can bring back home for various different builds. And on day 81, it hasn't even been that long, Ender pearled over to this nearby island and found out that it was actually an end city. I'm not even that far as you can see up there. I'm at like X1590. I think we spawned around like X800 or something like that, or it was like Z800. I don't know. We haven't really walked that far, probably around a thousand blocks. Where's my achievement at? Don't I get an achievement for coming in here? Oh, there it is, bet. Oh, well, I'm gonna spend some time here and grind some shulkers out. So in my first couple of chests here, they weren't good at all. I got some iron, I got some gold, and in my second chest, some more gold and iron boots with prop 4. I wasn't even gonna bother taking those. And here we got my second set of chests. This one was a bit better than my first one. We got unbreaking three diamond boots, some more iron and gold, pretty average. And in my second chest, we got an iron helmet with a bunch of cool enchants, more iron and gold like usual, and then finally a decent diamond helmet with respiration three and prot four. I could probably combine that with a diamond helmet that has unbreaking three or just add unbreaking three and mending on it. That works out. Also, this was the time when I decided my inventory was full and crafted a shulker box on the spot right there so I could dump all my goodies in. This thing actually came in clutch. I don't know why I didn't do this before. And finally, I travel onto our end ship for one last thing I needed to take, grab the potions of healing as well as the brewing stand, and here it is, the famous elytra. I had to duel this shulker real quick though. There you go, easily taken care of. Oh come on, this levitation is kind of ruining the moment bro, I have to wait for this thing to go away before I can pick it up. Alright, there we go, sky's the limit. Man, this feels amazing. I haven't touched Elytra in so long. It's gonna be much easier getting another one too. In the chest, we had some average diamond swords, an iron helmet. I don't even know why I ended up taking that. And also some almost max boots. I think the only thing that's missing is feather falling, I'm pretty sure. And some other average loot as well. Not really good enough to mention. Man, this Elytra is so freaking nice. I can finally just jump off this thing and just fly, dude. Also, I had to come back and grab the Ender Dragon Head because I kind of forgot to do that. On days 83 through 85, I went looking out for the second Elytra. I was going to get this one for my boy Davis, kind of as a gift for all his hard work he's been doing while I'm gone, because that Creeper Farm is really going to make such a big difference once we can get a ton of gunpowder production going. That way, we don't really ever have to worry about fireworks. I also made sure to keep a good eye on my durability of the Elytra. I've heard horror stories where that thing just breaks in the middle, because you're not used to having such low durability without Unbreaking 3 on. Yes, look at that thing man there's a freaking end ship up there there's also an ender chest here which is pretty useful because if anything was ever to happen to me i could put my dragon head in here and then it should be safe oh my goodness where is my shield at did i forget to bring it again one notable piece of gear that i found was a bane of arthropods five diamond sword i wonder what that's gonna be useful for and after looting everything from the end city and end ship i went and got an extra copy of this dragon head and i was on my way time to head back home it's been a long time in the end and i think i'm trying to see the trees and grass again and by day 87, we had made it home, back to the original island. Oh hey there villager, you're probably wondering why I appeared out of thin air. So first thing I did was spend a lot of time sorting things out and putting a bunch of the loot I got into their respective chests for the boys to take because I pretty much don't need any of this except for the nice boots and helmet. Also went and placed our dragon head on the statue. Oh, not crooked like that. There we go, now it's completely finished, looking pretty epic. I also took a stab at getting some feather falling on a different pair of diamond boots I could combine. I wasn't successful, but I got another really good pair of diamond boots. I'm gonna put these back in the chest for someone else to have. Now we're kinda at the point where Revel and Prav have both left the country and will not be back for like another month. So to close off this 100 days, you're probably just gonna be seeing me and Davis from now on. It's pretty unfortunate, but I can't really stop them from going on their trips, you know, it's summer. Where are you at right now? The Cooper Farm. Oh, I'm coming. I got your elytra for you. Also, I have an extra dragon head. I don't know what to do with it. Do you know where to put like the carpets? Or should I have to like go? Um... I think the only- you just have to put them so that no spiders can spawn. Spiders spawn in a 2x2 two two area, so I think you just have to make it so there's no 2x2s. Two I think that's way too much. Really? Oh, maybe they spawn in a 3x3 three three area. It's maybe It might be 3x3, three yeah. three. I don't remember. Well, also, I don't think I've introduced this yet, but this is Revel's iron farm that he made while we were gone. And it should be working completely. Let's check how much iron he's actually got in here. Ooh, about a stack and a half is pretty good. Now we can basically make unlimited hoppers and all that kind of stuff. I also went and got myself a mending book, which was only costing me four emeralds. I was initially confused, but I think it's because I actually cured this dude from a zombie villager once. And I don't think we have an Unbreaking 3 villager yet. That's what I was looking for here. I think we definitely need to get one soon because Unbreaking 3 can basically go on all of our tools. 
Bro, and after finally getting the villager up here, I spent basically the whole day trying to get this unbreaking. I would honestly take any kind of unbreaking at this point. I'll take unbreaking two or even unbreaking one, maybe if I'm really desperate. Yeah, but as you can see here, I was not getting lucky at all, not even getting a single type of unbreaking, man. I just finished the creeper coin. Jeez. Yo, no way, bro. Let me check this out. Yeah, oh my god. That's crazy. Two gunpowder. It's already working. That's good. That's good. Wait, isn't it just gunpowder and paper to make fireworks? Maybe we can do that like, right now. Mm, yeah, yeah. Let's go do I that. I mean, we have a ton of sugar cane, so... Yeah, yeah. There we go. I got 39 fireworks. Sheesh. Flying on this world, bro. First time. No way. Dude, Prov's like church build, dude. I don't understand what he's doing with this. I mean, if he finishes it... It'd be good, but... I mean, I don't know. Like, he was making... He was just making it such, like, a... Like, a geometric build, you know? Like... Like, he made this so deep. He did not make... He did not need to make this so far down, bro. Yeah, well, he wanted it to go, like... As far as, like, it was before. You know what I mean? Like, to the very end. Which is just stupid, I think, but... You ready to go to the... The nether? Yeah. Mine some netherite? That's, like, the one thing we haven't done. We have a creeper farm. We have an iron farm. We still got diamond tools, though. I guess we can go, go down this way. I'm dropping down. Wait, why are there villagers in the nether? <laughs> villagers in the nether? <laughs> yeah. Um, well, there was one on the loose a while ago. He probably just wandered into, like, a portal. Oh, why is there a wonder skeleton, bro? That's goopy. You're in the nether fortress, my guy. That's where they are. <laughs> but, like... So, no joke. A couple minutes in, when we exploded our bed, we saw two pieces of ancient debris really close to each other. We were actually so lucky for finding two on our first time. Yes, sir. Davis got hidden in the depths. That's crazy. <laughs> So for the next few days, we just gathered some nether right here. Occasionally, I went up to grab some food because I didn't really bring enough here. But we were both kitted out with shulkers of beds. Okay. And one of these times, I actually got really close to dying, man. Y'all gotta remember to be careful when using the bed strat. Finally, after I found my fifth piece of ancient debris, I decided that it's probably enough for me since it's been a while and I'm getting bored of this. It's time to head home. I don't exactly know how many tools I can make with this stuff. I completely forgot how to make netherite. Hopefully I can make a couple. And when I finally got back home, that's when I realized that I needed four pieces of ancient debris or netherite scraps to make one ingot. Man, that is such a letdown, bro. I completely forgot that you needed four to make one ingot. Davis, on the other hand, was able to get eight netherite scraps. So he was able to make two tools. So sadly, with all my work, I was only really able to get one netherite ingot. Looking back at it, it was a pretty unsuccessful trip of getting netherite, to be honest. I didn't get as much as I was hoping for the amount of time I spent there. I decided to upgrade my diamond pickaxe that didn't have silk touch on it, because all I needed to add was just unbreaking three, and then that thing would be perfect. So on day 97, I went back over to this villager over here that I think I was trying to turn him into some sort of unbreaking before. I'm gonna try it again because I can't really complete this 100 days series without getting pretty close to max tools and armor. I think my elytra and my netherite pickaxe is still missing unbreaking three. So I finally managed to get Unbreaking 1 after a long time, and I think this is just when I'm going to stop. Because it's kind of taking so long, and the game's just being super mean to me right now. I don't know why they just refuse to give me Unbreaking 3. Time to grind out some emeralds, I guess. I'm going to need to get, like, I think four bucks to get to Unbreaking 3. Alright, I'm back with the needed emeralds and books, and yep, I just need to get four of these because I can turn two into unbreaking two and then upgrade all the way up to unbreaking three. I'm gonna go do that right now. So that only costs two levels, that's not bad at all. And then to get to unbreaking three, it's only five levels. So in total, nine levels to get from unbreaking one all the way up to unbreaking three. Which I guess it's a little bit expensive considering I didn't have to do this at all. But I mean, we're just gonna go with it. It's day 97 and we just need to get unbreaking three desperately. And I'm not trying to spend the last couple of days grinding out a villager. And on the early morning of day 98, I realized I had these amazing boots in my inventory. I think I got these in the end ship and I don't know why I'm not wearing them. I'm gonna dump my old boots inside this chest. And with the remaining levels and emeralds I had, I got just enough XP to also upgrade my elytra to get on breaking three. As you can see at the very end, we had one level left. And pretty much guys, we're closing in on the end of this series as we've pretty much done everything there is to do. Except fighting the wither, of course, but it's a little too late for that now since most of the boys are already gone. I'm gonna come down to Prov's base and just mine out a bit and see if I can continue doing what he was doing in honor of our fallen soldier. He's not actually like gone, gone, you know, he's just... He's just in a different country right now. 
so this is what I was able to come up with. I just made like a really simple little base design out here, cleared out a little rectangular spot with a single bed because you know he's probably gonna be down here by himself. Got a kitchen over here complete with a crafting table and double furnace setup. And if you remember back in like days like 50, 60, 70, like the mid Siri days, I actually found this mangrove propagule or whatever this is called and I gave it to him. He stole it from me, but then he decided to give it back. And I think we're kind of going full circle here because now I'm putting it inside of his base, essentially just giving it back to him. So I think that's kind of nice. Also, I should probably fix the lighting situation in here. It looks, it looks kind of bleak. I don't know. And for the rest of day 99, I decided to get into some unfinished business regarding our villager trading hall. Having a bunch of stone bricks and stuff left over from previous builds, I went ahead and just completed the rest of this roof. So here we are on the night of day 99. And I put some wood on the roof on this side of the house instead of using all stone brick. I kind of realized halfway in, as you can see on this side over here, I have no idea why I was using only stone brick to texture that thing. In a real build, I would have added like windows and maybe some texturing involving some lighter woods because I think spruce on spruce looks a bit ugly. But I mean, it'll work out. We kind of have a unique half and half building here. And also, if you remember from the very first part of the series, the turtle is gone, man. I think I mentioned this earlier, but he he died or something happened with him. I'm not really sure. And so soon the sun was rising to indicate the start of day 100 on this multiplayer SMP. Me and Davis were just riding into the sunrise on our skeleton horses. It was a beautiful sight. Now, if you've really made it this far into the video, I can't thank you enough for sticking all the way through. And uh, welcome back. This is 2024 One Tap speaking right now. I'm so glad that I finally finished editing up that video. It's been it's been a while, man. Over two years. Definitely felt weird editing again. And yes, the beautiful footage you are currently watching right now in the background is actually from the beginning of this video because honestly, I just I can't find any more like cinematic type clips on my PC. So hopefully, I finally brought closure to many of you guys waiting for the last episode of this series as well as my channel. I know it's kind of weird just ending on episode three or four of a series and then just disappearing from the internet. Oh, with all that being being said there's no promises for the future but we'll see what happens from here hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and i will probably see you next time